coming up tonight on YCU News, students of Goshen Lemster, New Hampshire, are out of school after lightning strikes. Vermont State Police destroy 51 marijuana plants. For more news, weather, and sports, it's time for YCU, your local view. Now, your daily digest of the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region and central Vermont. News, sports, weather, public affairs, and all that's happening in our area. The news on YCU, your local view. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for this Thursday edition of YCU News. I'm Ashley Perkins. The Dartmouth College community marked the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. A group of people gathered Wednesday on the college's green in Hanover, New Hampshire. The Dartmouth event was held at the same time the King spoke 50 years ago in Washington, D.C. King's speech was part of the growing civil rights movement. His sentence that he had a dream that one day about a quarter of a million people squeezed into the nation's capital in 1963. That event was a peaceful one, just as the Dartmouth ceremony was on Wednesday. The regions of New England and upstate New York marked another anniversary on Wednesday. It's been two years since Tropical Storm Irene tore through the Northeast. The heavy rains and wind the storm unleashed destroyed homes, buildings, and lives. Vermont was one of the hardest hit states. Recovery from Irene continues. Much work has been completed to date. While Vermont leaders marked the state's ongoing recovery from Irene, nature celebrated the two-year anniversary in another way. Heavy rains hit west central New Hampshire last night. That's why kids who attended Goshen Lemster New Hampshire school have no school today. Around 10 p.m. last night, lightning hit the school, knocking out its electricity, the Associated Press reports. Mark the weekend of September 7th and 8th for the fourth annual Wings of Hope. The event benefits the VNA VNH Hospice. Songs, music, and the release of butterflies will honor the lives of neighbors we have lost. Events will be held in Lebanon, New Hampshire on Saturday, September 7th, and in Putney, Vermont on Sunday, September 8th. For more information, click on vnavnh.org. 51 marijuana plants, some six feet tall, have been destroyed by Vermont State Police. Authorities learned earlier this month of a pot farm or grow operation flourishing at 2104 West Road in Westminster, Vermont. At this time, there is no word from police that the property owner on record with Westminster officials knew of the marijuana plants growing on this land. The property includes a house and land. Taxes are current on the property, town officials say. Police pulled the 51 plants up by the roots, wiping them from the soil. Police continue to investigate this case. Today's YCU News shout-out goes to news hound Brett Nolte. Nolte sent us pictures that were calling the road not taken. And for this driver, that made all the difference. The driver left a note on the white truck's windshield that he would be back, and he kept his word. The truck was removed from land bordering one of Claremont's cemeteries by day's end. Want to be a news hound too? To send in photos, videos, or news tips, email news at ycunow.com. I'm Ashley Perkins for YCU, your local view. Good night.